Visiting an open farm can be a rewarding educational experience. It gives children the opportunity to see what is involved in running a farm and how animals are raised. At some farms, it is possible for children to get close to the animals and to handle them. It is important to protect the health of children and other visitors by being aware of the risks from bacteria carried by farm animals. These bacteria are usually harmless to the animals themselves, but can be very harmful to people. One common example is the bacteria E. coli O157. Here we can see how quickly they grow in a 24-hour period in the laboratory. While they are growing, they produce a toxin which can cause severe diarrhea, kidney failure and even death. These types of bacteria are present in the animal's droppings, which can then contaminate the ground surface, other surfaces on the farm or the animal's skin. Here, a harmless fluorescent powder is used to show how invisible bacteria can be present on surfaces and transferred to the hands by touching. Ground contamination will usually result in bacteria transferring to boots or shoes, which may then be touched by the hands, for example when tying a shoelace. Once the bacteria are on the hands, they can easily get into the body by direct hand-to-mouth contact or when food is handled. There is one simple precaution which you can take to break the chain of infection. Wash your hands whenever there is any risk that they have been contaminated and always before eating or drinking. A brief soak under a tap is not enough to remove bacteria from the skin. The hands must be washed thoroughly. This means rinsing the hands under hot running water, using soap to make a lather that covers the entire hand surface up to the wrist, and paying special attention to the fingertips and the skin between the fingers. Finally, rinse the hands under hot water and dry them thoroughly using a clean paper or roller towel or a hot air dryer. All open farms must provide hand washing facilities for visitors, which should include hot water and soap. Make sure these facilities are used by everyone who has touched animals or come into contact with contaminated surfaces. And don't forget, this can include contamination on shoes and boots. It is especially important to have clean hands before eating or drinking. So make sure visitors wash their hands thoroughly with soap and water before handling food or drink. Because contamination left on the hands after washing could still lead to infection, the farm should also provide clean towels or hand dryers. After washing your hands, make sure you do not risk recontaminating them, for example by touching animals as you leave. Remember, these simple hygiene precautions if carried out properly, will minimise the risk of serious infection.